Welcome back to Laravel 5.5 new features. This is video number six. And in this video, we're talking about package auto discovery. This is one of the biggest changes. I mean, not the biggest as far as like code base is concerned, but one of the probably most noticeable changes is coming to Laravel 5.5. A lot of these other features are smaller features that you may use here and there, but this is actually a big one that you're definitely all going to use very quickly in your next Laravel 5.5 project, and that's package auto discovery. So in this one, basically what happens is you guys are familiar with the drill when you wanna bring in a new package to your Laravel project. I've got a package opened right here. This is actually one of my dev marketer packages, Laravel Easy Nav. This just makes um, setting those active classes on your navigation elements you know, whenever, whenever you're on the right page, basically helps make that process a whole lot easier. Um, and so you guys know the drill when you're doing this. This is a standard package. You have, you start off by installing via Composer. So you normally Composer require, and then you have the name of the package here. And then after that, you generally have to define the service provider and add this to the providers array inside of your config slash app file. And then you normally have to add an alias or not every package uses an alias, but most of them do. You would have to add that as well. So now in Laravel 5.5, all you gotta do is add the composer require and then it will handle the rest. You don't need to do providers or aliases anymore. And so since you have to do that with every single package, it's gonna be noticeable because you don't have to do that anymore. So it's really, really cool. So let me show you guys how it works. This package, first of all, you gotta make sure the package does support Laravel 5.5 auto discovery. Most of them will because it's really easy to add. And I'll show you guys how you add that here in just a moment. But first, this one does support it. So let's see how it works. Um, let's go ahead and copy this composer require line. So the one thing you have to do is composer required. So we're gonna go through and add it. Composer require dev marketer slash easy nav. It's gonna go out to composer to packagist and pull in everything. So here you go, it's installing it. This is all pretty standard, all this green stuff, but you see some new stuff down here. So this up here is pretty normal. This is what we're used to already. But then you can see that now we run this PHP artisan package discover. And with this, it shows three discovered packages. And whenever a package is showed up as discovered, it means that Laravel recognizes it and it's set up any of the appropriate things like an alias or a provider for you. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so you can see that there's three packages. You guys will notice um, you're always gonna have these first two unless you've removed them because every Laravel 5.5 project now incorporates this proxy, um, this proxy package. Now I've, I was gonna, I wasn't, I thought about doing a video on it. I'm not gonna do a video on this proxy package, but this is a new feature for Laravel 5.5. Proxy is added automatically to every new package and or to every new Laravel 5.5 project. And basically this allows you to more, to maintain your HTTPS sessions if you're using a load balancer. And sometimes like load balancers will send requests over from like a port 80 or whatever. And so then your actual server will then not recognize it as HTTPS. And so it'll break that. This sets up a proxy to maintain that HTTPS session. Don't worry about it, that's confusing. I'm not gonna do a video on it, but if you're familiar with load balancers, just know that this is provided in Laravel 5.5 now. You automatically have that proxy to manage those HTTPS sessions across um, load balancers and stuff like that. Also, Laravel Tinker is included. That's another package that allows you to basically use uh, Laravel commands directly in the command line. And then now you see it recognizes our dev marketer easy nav, our new package. So whenever a package shows up in discovered, you know it's supported with the new auto discovery feature and Laravel has set it all up for you. So whenever you see that, you know you're good to go. You actually don't need to now follow any of these other commands. And you can see here, I do note that in this documentation, this package supports auto discovery features of Laravel 5.5. So if you're working in Laravel 5, you, your install is complete. You can just skip over, you can install the optional config file and then start using it. So it's that easy. So to prove that it works, what we're gonna do, we're gonna head over to Laravel here and we're going to show this in action. So let's go over to Adam here. Maybe we don't have it installed. Let's go open it up. We do. So here we're gonna return the view, welcome, and then let's go through and just test, let's add this package really quick. So resources, views, welcome, and then we've got, let's see, we've got a bunch of these links here. So what we're gonna do is if we're on the homepage, we are going to um, add a new class. So we'll say class equals, and then we'll use the package like you normally would. So the way this package works, you use the nav keyword, and if you don't, 
if you don't have the package installed, you won't have access to this nav keyword. So the fact that that works will prove to us that the package has been installed successfully. We're gonna just do nav is route. That's one of the commands you have access to and we're gonna say it, we're on the home route. And if we are on the home route, then we will add the class of um, is active to this um, link. Now let's go ahead and just style is active up here. So if the is active will have a background color of red. Okay, so there we go. So now let's go, oh, we gotta name it. So this is looking for a route name, a named route called home. So let's make sure we have a named route called home. So routes, web, let's go ahead and name this route home. So now forever on the home page and it recognizes that, then it'll give that item, this documentation, a background of red, and it does. So we know the package is working. So we now have access to that nav uh, facade, and that proves the package is working. So all we did was composer, require, the package works, and we're good to go. Super easy, you guys are gonna love this feature. Just make sure when you're installing new packages um, that it usually a lot of them have changed their documentation now to mention, like this one does, that it supports 5.5 auto discovery. If not, you'll always know when you run the install because if it is supported, then it, it'll show up as a discovered package here. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Keep an eye out for that. Um, the one thing I do wanna show you guys that is a little confusing is if you go to your config app file, I naturally thought with the auto discovery that it was going to automatically write a new provider in here, but it doesn't. So normally, you know, you would come down to providers and you would add down here, this is where you would paste in that provider that's on the, the documentation. But that actually doesn't happen. And so that was confusing for me. I didn't know whether it was working or not. But just know that if it shows up as a discovered package that it is working and you don't have to worry about it. But I just wanted to let you guys know that it does not, it does not automatically write it to the app file. It's hidden actually inside of Composer. It's managed over there instead of inside the app file. So you won't notice the changes in the app file. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so that's basically it for this feature. The last thing I wanted to show you guys is how you would add this feature. If you own a package right now, how do you support the new auto discovery feature? It's super easy. Let me show you real fast. Let's come up to, we're gonna go and stay in the same package here. We're gonna go to the, or not the source code. Inside of your composer.json file, inside of your package, all you're gonna do is add a new section, okay? So it's at the bottom here, you can see these are pretty normal. You would have like, um, you know, require, dev, you have your auto load. This new section called extra, inside of there you have an array called Laravel. Inside of there you can put whatever you want to auto discover. So in this case, providers, we just added the, the location for the service provider. And then it, for aliases, we have the nav alias that we want to create. And then we have the location for the nav facade. So it, basically these are the same things that you used to paste in, but you're basically going to do that for your users. So you set up their provider here and then their alias there. And that's it. That's all you got to do. So you just make sure you add that new block. You can come over here and copy it if you want. You're going to add this new block of extra into your composer.json file at the root of your project right here, and that's it. Now it's automatically going to be supported because that's where Laravel looks in. It looks in the composer.json file to see for that Laravel object, and then it will go ahead and add whatever you've asked it to add. So now you don't have to worry about those other steps for your users. You're gonna do it for them, and Laravel will handle the rest. And for you guys that are using packages, all you're gonna do is composer require, the package, it's gonna install it and you're off to the races, you're ready to start using the package. It's that easy, no more registering facades, no more registering for providers, it's all done for you. It's super easy. It's really gonna be a feature that you use in every layer of a project, it's a big one. So hopefully that's as exciting for you as it is for me. So that's it for this video. Um, that's package auto discovery in Laravel 5.5. The next video I'm gonna show you is kind of similar. It's gonna be about automatically registering console commands for your own project or for your packages. They both work about the same way. So I'll show you guys that in the next video.